Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to walk through how to download, install, and use the new Publishers app. It's an amazing tool that lets you view your meeting assignments, field service schedules, and so much more. All from your phone or tablet, whether you're using Android, iOS, or even Windows. First thing, let's get the app on your device. The NW Publisher app is available for multiple platforms, including iOS, Android, Amazon, and Windows 11. Here's how to download it. Go to your app store on your iPhone or iPad. Then go to your search bar. Then tap search. Then type in NW Publisher. Tap on it. Then tap the download. Then tap open. Once your app is installed, then you need a few pieces of information to connect to your congregation. Let's go through the steps that you'll need. After you have opened the NW Publisher app on your device, you'll be asked for congregation ID and congregation PIN. Now this is usually sent to you via email from your administrator. If not, then you can get the information from your congregation elders. So you'll want to enter the congregation ID, then you'll enter the congregation PIN number, and then hit done. Then hit connect. Now you're going to enter your first name. Then enter your personal PIN. Then hit identify. That's gonna ask you the question, would you like to receive reminders for upcoming events and assignments and duties? Tap yes. Now, would you like to send notifications? Allow. Now, would you like to receive notifications from your congregation? Say yes. And there you have it. Now you have downloaded and installed the new Publishers app. Now let's take a look at the main interface of this app. You'll notice at the top in the right hand corner, you see the ellipsis there. And if you tap on that, you'll notice that here you can change the language. You can create, change the settings. You can check the about, the app page, and you can type help. Here you can get more information about using the app or anything to do with New World Publisher app. And finally, when you want to disconnect the app, you can tap the disconnect and it will disconnect it. Going down to the bottom of the app, first you'll notice you see the icon with the man inside the house. That is your congregation icon and it will open up congregation. The next one, you have your schedules. You tap on it and it will show you your schedule. The next one, you have your assignments. You tap on the chat bubbles and you'll get your assignments. Next to it, you have your duties. Next to it, you have your territory. And next to it, you have your me which will give you all of the information that you need about yourself and also your field service activities, your field service history, your contact information, your away periods, your temper territory requests, literature requests, and delegates if you are used to, to delegate for someone. Now we're going to take the time to go through the whole process of using this app and showing you exactly what each of these features will do. Once you've entered all the information and connected, 
you're ready to start using the app. Next, I'll show you how to take full advantage of all the features. First, let's open the app by tapping on NW Publisher. Let's start by exploring how to view your upcoming Christian Life and Ministry meeting assignments, field service assignments, and public talk. Open the Assignments tab. Here, you'll see all upcoming assignments, including public talks, Christian Life and Ministry meeting, and any field service duties. Tap on any assignment for more details, including the time, date, and your specific role. You can add it to your calendar by tapping the Add to Calendar at the bottom. Now your assignment has been added to your calendar and you will not miss your assignment. Now let's look at how you can check your assigned congregation duties, such as being a attendant. Need to check the schedule for meetings or field service times? Here's how you can easily view them in the app. Navigate to the Schedule tab. You'll find a complete schedule for the Christian Life and Ministry meeting, weekend meetings, and field service. Tap on any schedule for a detailed view of each event. With this feature, you'll never miss a meeting or service again. To enter your field service report, tap on the checkbox on the field service report. Then check the box if you shared in any form of the ministry during the month, number of different Bible studies that you conducted, hours if auxiliary, regular, or special pioneer or field missionary, credit if you're a Bethel construction worker, or you went to Pioneer School or some other special activities, and then comment. For example, if you weren't able to make your time because you were sick, and then you tap Submit. Are you sure? And then tap Submit. You'll notice when you go back to the congregation, it's going to have a checkbox showing you that your August field service was submitted. Now let's look at the field service activity. To check your field service activity, tap on the me icon. Next, tap the down arrow on the field service activity. You'll notice at the top, you have your hours, Bible study, and credit. Below it, you see the calendar with the day's date clearly marked. If you scroll down, you'll see where you can input your hours, study, and credit. To add hours, simply tap on the date, then tap on the plus sign. To add study, tap on the BS. Input a name. To add a credit, simply tap on the credit, type in your hours, tap done. To check your field service history, tap field service history. Now you'll notice your field service history is there for the last 11 months. If your congregation has enabled the contact information, when you tap my contact information, it will show you your information. If you're going on vacation and you're not able to complete your assignment, tap the away period. To add a new away period, tap new, then tap away from. Then you'll notice a wheel will allow you to input your date. Start with the year, the month and the day. Hit done. Tap the away to. Again, tap the date. The wheel pops up. Tap in your day. Hit done. If all family members will be away also, tap apply to all family members by toggling on and then tap send. If you have 
any type of conflicts it will show you in this box. If you wanted to request a territory, tap territory request, tap the down arrow, you can tap for congregation, field service group, or personal, and tap the down arrow again, and you can type in in-person, telephone witnessing, letter writing, or business, and then tap request. If you want to add notes, you can add notes, and then you tap request. If you want to request some literature, tap literature request, then tap new, then type in the type of literature you want, the quantity, the language, and add notes. Then tap send. If you are a delegate and you are putting in time for someone, tap the delegate and then a name will pop up in here and you can input the information. And that's your complete guide to downloading, installing, and using the NW Publisher app. I hope this tutorial helps you make the most of the app and stay connected with your congregation. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.